Don't be shy. Welcome. I'm your new matchmaker. Have you been to a matchmaker before? No, okay. Well, welcome. I'm glad that you're trying it and you're giving love a chance because I think doing matchmaking is a great way to give yourself a chance. Now, are you nervous? You look a little nervous. That's all right. Listen, I've been doing this matchmaking for quite some time, and there's no need to be nervous, but you know what? I've got something with me for you. Look at this beautiful glass jar. Isn't it beautiful? Listen to the sound. Now inside this glass bottle is my own signature concoction. Um, it's an elixir. It's gonna help you relax. I like to call it the love potion because I give it to anyone who's nervous when they come here and it helps them relax so that they can focus on matchmaking instead of their nerves. Now, would you like to try this? It's on the house. Um, and don't worry, it doesn't have any alcohol in it. It's um, completely all natural. It has different herbs. Um, that's really all. Um, it has, this one has a berry flavor. That's why it's got the red. And I think the red is fitting for this uh, love potion, as I call it. You wanna try it? Do you want to smell it? It has a nice smell. All right. Okay. That sound always scares me, and it's never as bad as it actually ends up being. So I'll let you smell that. Yes, yes, it's very good. All right, would you like that? Okay. So I'm going to just... Hand this over to you now, and you can just sip on that as we're talking, okay? Okay, dear. You know, you already look a little more relaxed. Just handing that over to you, so that's nice. Okay. Now I want you to just relax, take a deep breath in, and breathe out. Let's do that one more time. A deep breath in. And breathe out. You know what, you're right. That backdrop was a little crooked. I just fixed it so it won't distract you too much, okay? All right, dear. So, if you don't mind, I'm gonna ask you some questions and I'm just gonna Wave my hands over your face, okay? So tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. And are you looking for something serious? You're hoping to settle down? Okay. Are you interested in having children? Or you're not sure? Okay, that's fine. And tell me, what do you do for a living? Okay. And what do you like to do for fun? Okay, and is there a certain quality or character that you're looking for in a partner? Okay, I see. Okay, dear. It sounds like you have high standards, but in a very healthy way. I think we should all have high standards, as long as they're reasonable and not too much. Sometimes we get a little uh, ahead of ourselves and we have these impossible expectations that we really shouldn't expect because no one would uh, be able to fulfill them, even ourselves. Okay, dear. 
Okay, dear, now what I've brought with me, I'm just gonna show you the back, no peeking. Um, I've got these cards, I have an assortment. It looks like we've got five today. I, these are the ones that I kind of pre-picked out. We might not look at all of them. Um, I like to do cards instead of a resume. I think it's a little bit more fun and easier to work with. They actually look a lot like baseball cards with the stats and a picture, uh, but they're not baseball cards, okay? And so usually I just go through them in no particular order, but I'm gonna try something different today. It's something I've tried uh, recently. It's a new technique I'm trying out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold cards in front of you without you being able to see who's on the other side. And I'm gonna look closely at your face, at your reaction. And if I see a certain reaction, I'm gonna know if we should put that card away, or if it's maybe a potential match, okay? I know, if it sounds a little kooky, don't worry, it's not that woo-woo, because either way, even if you have a certain reaction to a card, we're gonna go through that uh, potential match, and we're gonna talk about him, and then we'll get a sense if he's really the right fit. So I'm not just holding these up to you and then choosing who you're gonna go out on a date with. You're not gonna get married based on this. It's just a way to start the process, and I found it just feels a little more natural, and um, I don't know, I think there's just some sort of um, intuition when it happens this way, that's all. Does that sound okay to you, dear? Okay, before we begin, do you have any other questions? Oh, yes, of course, dear. Sometimes when people see a matchmaker like me, they see the tick hole and they think that I'm only gonna uh, match you with conservative, orthodox people. I. I serve a wide range of clients from all different backgrounds, so there's no pressure there. I mean, you could meet someone from one of those backgrounds and it could be a match, but that's not what that's about, okay? I want everyone to find a match that's right for them. Okay, dear. How are you enjoying that love elixir, by the way? Mm, it's very tasty, I know. It's a little addicting almost. Okay, so, in no particular order, I'm just gonna shuffle these around. I'm gonna hold different ones up to your face, okay? And again, you can't see them. All right, let's start with this one here. Okay, I'm just looking at your face. All right, mm, okay, okay. Let's see. All right, let's try this one. Okay, okay, that's good to know. All right, all right. No, no, I don't think we're gonna go with that one. We can always come back to it if the other matches don't work, but I, I'm not thinking that one's a right fit. Okay, okay, potential. We'll do a potential pile. And one more. Okay, okay. All right, dear, we can always go back to that one that I thought wasn't a good fit. But so I've got two piles here. We've got the maybe potential pile, and then we've got the ones that I think might be a very good fit based on your reactions. But of course, as I said, we're still going to go through each one, so you never know. And if you're not feeling any of them, we can go to the one we rejected or I can always go back to the, the drawing board and find some of the other potential matches that I have. All right, which one would you like to start with? Do you want the absolute ways or do you wanna 
warm up with some of the potential maybes. Okay, let's start with the maybes because you're you're very new at this. You haven't seen a matchmaker before. Um, I want you to just get a feel for how this works, okay? Okay, so. The first guy that we've got, this is um, Jeremiah. I'm just gonna wave Jeremiah around here now. <sighs> Jeremiah is a maybe for basically two reasons. There's some things that are good about him that line up with you, and there's some things that maybe just aren't um, quite in line, but that doesn't mean you're not a match because, you know, you don't have to agree on everything to be a good match. In fact, I think sometimes it's good to have some differences. Um, we can talk a little bit more about that later. Okay, so the positives. Jeremiah is a very um, kind and generous person. He donates to charity a lot and he volunteers a little bit. And I know you said that someone who is kind and giving is very important. So that's a plus for Jeremiah. On the other hand, you like someone who's stable and has a job. And I have to be honest, Jeremiah, this isn't a reflection of his personality, but he has kind of hopped from job to job. Sometimes he's been unemployed, um, but he's not a bum when he's unemployed. He is working on um, personal projects or he's helping out family. But if you just like someone that's very consistent with um, their work, um, he's just maybe a little bit more of a wild card. He might be just a little bit outside your comfort zone in that way. Um, I don't want you to feel anxious when you're dating someone and they don't have a job and you do. Um, but again, it's not a reflection. He's not lazy. He's not getting fired from places. He just, he has a lot of interests and I don't think his career is like the thing he values the most, which could be a good thing in some cases. Um, so I think he just doesn't take the work as seriously, but he understands, you know, you have to have a job, make a living, pay the bills. So that's why he's in the maybe. I think there are things you would like about him. And certainly if you went on a date, I think you two would find some connection. Okay, so we're gonna put Jeremiah down. And then we're gonna move on to the next maybe person, okay? Okay, so this is Max. Max, Max, Max. Now this is kind of funny. It's kind of the opposite with Max. Um, Max is very hardworking. He's a lawyer and he takes his job very seriously. But because of that, I think he doesn't always prioritize other things in his life. He's certainly not selfish. He's not a jerk. He's a gentleman. Why would I even offer a jerk to you? No. He's a gentleman, but I think because he's so invested in his career, um, you know, the, the caring and the generosity side, those aren't the first things that come to mind when I think about him. I think of him as serious and hardworking. That is a good thing though, and so if you're looking for stability, if you're looking to maybe start a family, I know you said you're not sure, and I'm not trying to pressure you, okay? I'm not that kind of matchmaker. I'm not saying you have to start a family immediately, but I know you said you're thinking about it, you're not sure, but you know, if it's something that's in the cards for you, then this man on this card, maybe that's a plus for you. Someone who's very dependable because you know, just because someone doesn't seem incredibly generous all of the time doesn't mean that they don't have a good heart and they don't have other good qualities. So again, we've got Jeremiah who's generous and thoughtful, but maybe a little bit of a flake when it comes to a career. And then we've got Max who takes his career very seriously, is very hardworking and is very dependable, but maybe a bit focused on that career, okay? 
So those are the two maybes that we have, Jeremiah and Max. How do you feel about that so far? How does this experience feel for you? Okay, good. I'm glad that I'm adding some context for you and it's, it's making sense. And what's that to you? Oh, you had a question when I was talking about how um, when you're looking for a match, you don't have to always have everything in common. You want me to talk about that more before we move on? Yeah, so what I think is um, people either think opposites attract or you have to have everything in common. And it's actually both are a little bit inaccurate. It's more that not either one is wrong, but the truth is more in the middle. So when people think of opposites attracting, I think they're usually thinking of what's on the outside. So maybe someone who appears very serious and dresses very serious versus someone who has a fun and giddy personality, maybe dresses kind of fun and out there. People might think, oh, those are opposites that attract. Now, what I would say is that those things don't matter. If you are outgoing or if you are um, dressing conservatively or not, I think what matters are the core values. So do you value certain friendships? Do you value careers? Do you value being outdoors and and trying new things or do you value stability um and so i think that um when those things align the other stuff doesn't matter as much um but with that said some people think you have to have everything in common you don't have to have everything in common if you're more of an introvert and you meet someone who's outgoing and extroverted, sometimes those can complement each other as long as you're still valuing the same basic principles, I think. Does that make sense? Okay. Oh, you're welcome, dear. Of course, I don't want to move too fast. Sometimes I can talk a mile a minute. Sometimes I can just go way ahead. So if you need me to slow down, if you need me to explain something, if you don't understand something, please don't hesitate to ask. I really appreciate that you weren't afraid to ask. I'm thinking that Alexa I gave you helped you relax, hmm? Okay. Now, we've got two that I think could be potential matches here. I'm not sure which one to go with though. Wait, let me see. I'm going to hold each one up. Mm. 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 We're gonna save this one for last because I might, I think this might be the best for last, okay? Alright, so this is Gaul. Gaul is a social worker, so already off the bat, a caring person, something that's important to you, and it's a, a steady, stable position, another thing that's important to you. Um, and so I think those two things align, whereas with Jeremiah and Max, some of those things didn't align. So Gaul has those two qualities. He's got um, he's a generous person, and he's got stable employment. Um, he is a bit serious. Um, he is looking for a family, um, but I think he's patient and willing to find the right person and not um, rush into it. So I think he's someone you should meet to maybe get a feel for it, you know? If you hit it off, maybe that's going to help you make that decision for yourself. Um, but yeah, he's definitely open to meeting people that are different. He's open to waiting. He doesn't want to rush into having a family. And I think those are some good qualities. We can go into him a little more, but I do want to talk about the one that I think is the top match, and that is Yossi.
I think something we didn't talk about with the other potential matches is the, um, the more personal side, the more outside of Korea what a person does. So, um, Yossi's very interesting because he's a painter and a writer. He likes to do both. He's done some freelance creative writing and he likes to paint. And I know you mentioned you're a creative person. Um, you like to play music and sing. And I think artists can get along really well, especially if you're doing different types of art. So you're doing singing and music. He's doing writing and painting. And I think you'd have a lot to talk about right off the bat, just with that. Um, Yossi is also interesting because I think, um, he can come off as a little bit shy or, or not shy but i guess he just seems a little bit quiet but as soon as you find something to talk about he really opens up pretty quickly and i've noticed that with you that when you first came in you seemed a little reserved but then as we started talking i got to know you and you you really opened up, you were honest, and that's something I noticed with Yossi when I met with him to do a consultation. So I'm seeing a personality thing there, um, and I think there might be some core values there. He's also a bit unsure if he wants to start a family, but he's open to it. He's not completely discounting it, but he's not um, jumping to do it right away. Um, and again, he's a teacher, so uh, you know, he's employed, you don't have to worry about that too much, so that's why I think Yossi might be up there for you. What do you think? Yeah, he's pretty cute too, I agree. Okay, so, as we've discussed, we've got Yossi, and it sounds like you're pretty interested in Yossi too. We've got Gaul, who is also... Um, you know, he's up there. He's got some things going for him, too. And then I mentioned we have a Jeremiah and Max, okay? So here's the order I'm thinking. Yossi is absolutely number one, followed by Gaul, followed by Max, followed by Jeremiah. It's funny, it went in reverse order of how we went through all of them. Now, what do you think about that? That sounds all right to you? Okay. I think it's a good fit too. All right, now. Yes, yes, I'm sure. You're wondering where do we go from here? This matchmaker found some good matches for me, but what do we do now? All right. What we'll do, because we think Yossi is the top, I'm going to contact Yossi, let him know I found someone who's a potential match, and I'm going to schedule a time for you to both meet, okay? Now, I recommend, unless the date is absolutely terrible, that no matter what, you go on the first date and you go on at least a second date. Preferably, I would say three dates, but at least two, okay? So I'll schedule the first date. Um, I'll check in with both of you afterwards. Again, unless it's terrible, I'll schedule a second date. If that one goes well, I'll schedule a third. And then it's up to you if you want to keep going on. Now, at any point, if you think it's not a match and you both decide to go your separate ways, then we can move on to your second choice. Um, we can take a look at Gaul, um, and we can just go on from there, the same thing. And then if it doesn't work out with Gaul, we have another and another. I don't think we're going to have to go that far. I honestly think you're going to have a great time with Yossi, but... You know, you never know, so um, I can be wrong sometimes, although not usually. How do you feel about that, dear? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, you look excited. That's great. That's how this should be. You should be excited to go on a date. You know, all these young people get so stressed out about going on dates, and I get it, especially with the apps now, but um, it should be an exciting thing. Either way, even if it doesn't work out with the OC, you're meeting someone new, you're practicing your dating skills, you're expanding your network, you might learn something from each other. So, I think you're going to have a great time with Yossi, and I think he's going to have a great time with you. I think you both are really a good fit for each other. You're a good match, and that's what the matchmaking is all about. Oh, that bottle I gave you with that love potion? You can keep that. That bottle is for you. It's a reusable glass bottle. I think it's a very nice bottle. You can keep it. Okay, dear, and yes, you know what, before I let you go, let's just do two more breaths just to reset, and then you can be on your way, all right? All right, let's take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Let's do one more. Deep breath in. And breathe out. All right, dear. Thank you for coming in. It was so lovely to meet you and get to know you better. I think you're going to have a great time. I think you're going to have a match here. And if not, you're in good hands. There's no need to worry. Thank you for coming in. And we'll be in touch very soon about your upcoming date, all right? All right, dear. Take care. Goodbye.